Next, what we're going to learn is um, we're going to introduce one more property to our class employee 2. Let's say we introduce a private property of double type called permission. And just like before, we introduced a getter for the employee name and a setter for the employee name, we would now like to introduce a getter for the commission. And similarly, we would like to set a setter for the commission. Now, there is a reason that I have given the same name as a class attribute to the parameter, and this is to identify that if the name of the attribute and the name of the parameter which is be, which will be used to set the attributes value if they're exactly the same name um, Java compiler actually gets confused that which one of the two is a property and which one of the two is actually the parameter and parameters are always considered to be the local variables of a method so in order to differentiate between the two we add a reference of this in front of the item that is to be considered as a property of the class and not in front of the item that is to be considered the class parameter uh, the parameter of the method so this is how we can differentiate between the two so Java allows you to give the same name to the property as well as the parameter that is being used to set the property but we just add the word this the word this is always implied in Java uh, if you write it or not uh, in this particular scenario, it becomes mandatory for you to write it. Now, what we'll be doing is, um, since we have added a couple more uh, properties here, we would like to call those properties. And uh, the properties can be called in any sequence. Uh, the reason I'm calling all EMP ones first because I want to keep all EMP ones together and all EMP twos together. But um, you could just call all setter for employee name first on all the objects and then you can call all the setters for commission on all the objects you can just go by any sequence all you gotta make sure is that the setters and getters are only called after the objects have been set uh, that's about that's the only limitation now what we would like to do is we would like to add another um, system.out.print for each one of our employees so we'll say employee one commission and we were going to have employee two commission and we would now like to execute this code and here you can see in the output that we were able to successfully display the employee name and the commission employee name and the commission so in this example uh, what we tried doing is um, that we created another property in the same class called commission then we added a getter for this property uh, and then we added a setter for this property and then in the main method um, using both objects we made calls to the setters and then we made calls to the getters to retrieve those values thank you